What's up, Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this bitch. So, join me as I read you your motherfucking vibes, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRellsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this Piscean reading, baby. You must sage the cars for all of my Piscean gods. So, Pisces, you see the title up in this motherfucker? We're going to see who's spying on your motherfucking ass. Who is spying on my Pisces? And while you're here, I want you to hear it, hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me, Pisces. As I was meditating over your energies, I definitely felt like this could be somebody's ex or someone that you considered a friend or a, uh, a friendship that you had, that girlfriend or that boyfriend or whatever. That motherfucker is the one that's spying on you. Okay, they can have their flying monkeys coming, Pisces. So let's see what's up, who is spying? On my Pisces, I'm curious to know my motherfucking self. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this motherfucking shit started in this bitch. We already got the two of cups. Could have been somebody that you had a romantic interest with. This also could be a relationship that you left behind where you said, bitch, fuck it. I done leveled up, honey. Okay, this could have been a marriage, a, a connection, a union ship. Okay, a soulmate you thought that y'all was going to be together forever. Uh-oh, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. I feel like I feel like some of you guys might have thought that this could have been your soulmate or your twin flame, okay? And the motherfucker showed their true colors. That's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. That's who's definitely spying. They had to unveil themselves to figure out if you wanted to fuck with their ass or not. But whoever is spying, this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who might be indecisive about making a decision. Okay, they might be closing themselves off, might be blinding themselves to a situation so they don't have to make any answers or have to conform to anybody. Okay, Pisces, so... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Uh oh, this could be somebody who was married or somebody who was in a relationship. Knight of Pentacle energy here. Somebody who had to, they had to slow it on down, baby. Okay, also could be uh, Virgo and Taurus Capricorn that could be spying on you as well. But I'm definitely getting Leo Sagittarius Aries where they were in some sort of relationship. Could have been married already or some sort of commitment. Or this could be somebody... That you're married to. All right. <laughs> okay. But I got everyone pretty much here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also have another Pisces here with this high priestess. This could be someone that you already have known about or somebody that you already have dealt with. I feel like your intuition has been telling you about this person. They could have been on your Facebook, Instagram. Okay, but this also definitely could be a relationship of some sort is what I'm getting here, Pisces. So a lot of y'all, mm, y'all could have been dealing with married people, okay? Or you were married at some point in time. Somebody could be uh, in-law looking at your marriage, okay? But I'm getting with the six of wands here. Somebody online. This could be a relationship online. Okay. Facebook, Instagram, 
people that can hide behind the screen. That's what the Six of Wands is all about. That's who's spying. I feel like you already know this shit, though. Okay. In your head, you're like, yep, I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Four of Cups could be somebody who's really bored here or somebody who, like I said, just sit behind the screen all day long. Motherfucker don't know what to do. You got the two of wand energy here. They didn't know which direction that they could go into or which direction they should go. But Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I get like these are a lot of admirers. These could be people that are following you or somebody that has a following here. Seven of Sword energy. So whoever this person is, they're going to be called out on their shit. Spirit is like, well, bitch, I'm going to tell you about yourself. Oh, you're going to fuck up. It's going to be some sort of stumble of some sort where somebody be like, uh-oh, I didn't, uh-oh, they've been caught, okay? <laughs> yeah, seven of wands here, seven of swords, a lot of sevens here, okay? So I do feel like um, this could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio. That's spying on you. They're trying to pretend like they're not with this eight of swords. Like they're just doing their own motherfucking thing. Like they're just, you know, getting their shit together and shit. But nah, they're really looking at your ass. Okay, I feel like there could have been some sort of family members or somebody that told them not to deal with you or something like that with the six of pentacles. Or there was a lot of toxicity with whoever was spying on you as well too. I'm getting the world here. So it could have been a, a, a fixed sign. Also ten of swords. Somebody that you had some crash and burn with is what I'm getting here. Also could have been a sexual partner. Okay, if somebody could have found out about another sexual partner. Or somebody that was, uh, you know, not being real. Okay? Could have been some pain, some pain and heartbreak that was caused due to the situation. Could have started out as a sexual uh, energy. But I do get with the three of sore energy here. This could be a uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn with this queen of pentacles. But I'm definitely getting uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Okay, King of Wands, also Chariot. So it could be Kinsetti. You know, this could be somebody that has it in their chart. But I'm getting with the Hermit and the Justice. This is Libra. And this is also Virgo in energy. Okay, this could be like Virgo. Uh, yeah. Somebody could be spying around your house as well too, Pisces. But I know y'all got that shit, you know, on lockdown. Okay, doors, windows, all that shit sealed up. Guns concealed if you need me, okay? Queen of Swords, also Page of Swords, right next to that. So, I feel like whoever is spying on you, you know you got the protection, okay? You got that protection, baby, with that Queen of Swords here. Also, Ten of Cups. I feel like somebody could be spying in on your family situation, seeing about your kids, Okay, or what you got going on with your kids, inquiring about your kids. Okay, for some of you guys, this also could be somebody who be acting like a little devil who's very obsessed with you as well, Pisces. So it could be a Capricorn here. But I'm seeing that this could be a final decision or some sort of decision that's getting ready to be made up in this motherfucker. It could be because of somebody that was very toxic. They might be wanting to watch you every little move so they can figure out your next plan. You know what I'm talking about? So I feel like whatever it is that you put on social media, whatever it is you put out there, these people want to utilize that information like they know your ass, you know? But I'm getting uh, Leo Sagittarius area, somebody that you stopped in their tracks and was like, no, bitch. No. Okay, I rebuke you. Satan, look at this. <laughs> So this definitely could have been a sexual partner here, especially with the Nine of Cups. Somebody you could have drank with, chill with, okay? Somebody from your past as well. Or somebody that you made a lot of memories with. But I feel like this could be somebody from your childhood or people that you've known for quite some time. This could be years at a time, six years, okay? I'm also getting four years, three years here too. But you got the Tower and the King of Swords. So I get that whoever's spying, they will be getting caught very, very soon. Okay, I feel like I need to pull some love cards on who is spying on my Pisces. Get some clarification. And please make sure that you hit that motherfucking like, share, and subscribe button as well, too. Here we go, Pisces, baby. Let me give it to you nice and easy. Here we go. 
All right, we got to love yourself first. So somebody you did leave away, somebody that walked out on a situation, somebody that you said had a kiss goodbye, honey. Okay, didn't even give him no poo nanny, didn't give him no dick, no nothing. That's what I'm seeing. Definitely an ex here. The time has come for you to clear your energy on this ex. They could be trying to come back, recycle themselves, saying that they change, give me that same old buggable, dusty ass energy. That's what I'm saying. With releasing your ex, you got to clear that energy. And you also got somebody who's definitely codependent on you. They could be watching you for your money, your lifestyle, Pisces. Okay, y'all know that y'all be uh, Hollywood and shit in these dusty streets. Don't fuck with me, y'all. Okay. <laughs> also could have been someone you thought was the one. That soulmate connection, like I said in the beginning, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Or some of you guys might be in the past of how shoulda, woulda, couldas with this one partner when you could be making some new memories in motion. Okay. I love y'all, Pisces. I'm going to get on out of here. That's what's fine. I hope this information was vital. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. I can definitely relate to this shit. So, I love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next motherfucking video. Peace.